In this video, we start our third section of the heap programming course. We will finally introduce how to write heap programs and how to run the program on GPUs. The goal of this unit is to get you familiar with the most basic concepts about GPU programming and how to convert a parallel CPU program to a GPU program. I am Sabila, a PhD student from the Computer Science Department at William & Mary, who mainly works on GPU architecture and GPU programming research. I'll be covering the content for this section. In heap programming, both CPUs and GPUs are used for computing. Typically, we refer to the CPU as the host and GPU as the device. CPUs and GPUs are separated platforms with their own memory space. We run serial workloads on CPUs and offload parallel computation on GPUs. When we write a plain C++ program, the code will only allow us to use the CPU to run the program. But in heap, we use the C++ part of the program to program the CPU. The other part of the program will run on the GPU in parallel, which is also written in C++, but with some extensions to express parallelism. And this extension is defined by the heap programming language. Then the compiler will compile the program and split it into pieces that will run on the CPU and the GPU and generate code for each. Overall, Heap defines a GPU programming language that is very similar to C++. Heap defines a set of APIs that allow the CPU to control the GPUs. We call this APIs and the implementation of the APIs the runtime library. In the rest of this section, we focus on introducing both the Heap programming language and the runtime APIs. We start with writing a hello world example in Heap. The goal of this example is to introduce how to program on a heap compatible GPU and how to compile and run a heap program. To start any heap program, the first thing to do is to include a header file as heap slash heap runtime dot h. If the computer has a standard Rockium installation, we should be able to find this file under slash opt slash Rockium slash include. This header file is necessary to use the heap runtime APIs and execute GPU programs. In the second block, we write the GPU code, a function that is supposed to be called by a CPU program and run on a GPU is called a kernel. A kernel is defined as a regular function with this special global specifier. This specifier is also known as a qualifier. The qualifier notifies the compiler that this part of the code is a kernel instead of being a part of the regular CPU code. A kernel function must return nothing. A kernel can take arguments, but we will talk about how to pass arguments to a kernel later. For this simple hello world example, we do not need any argument. In the kernel, we can still use regular C++ syntax. Here we printed the hello world message. The hello world message also displays thread ID while printing. In the third block, we define the main function as the entry point of the program. This main function runs on the CPU, so we call it the host program. The host code can call the GPU hello function from inside the main function so that this GPU hello kernel can be executed on the GPU. This process is also known as kernel launching. As you may have noticed, this is not a common function call. A triple angle bracket is provided between the function name and the argument list. This triple angle bracket allows the programmer to define some execution configurations. For example, here we provide 1 and 1 as the configuration for the kernel call. These two numbers are the grid size and the block size which will be introduced later. But here, these two ones tell the GPU that there is only one thread in the kernel and one hello world message will be printed. For GPUs, one thread kernel are not very useful. We will see how to create more useful kernels in the following videos. After launching the kernel, we ensure that all the related tasks have been completed. We utilize the heap device synchronize function. This function will be thoroughly discussed in the future videos. Next, we compile and run the program. Compiling a heap program is similar to C++ program compilation, except for the compiler that is used. The Rockin platform provides a Clang-based heap compiler named heapcc. On a platform with standard Rockin installed, 
heapcc is available under slash opt slash rockim slash beam. Assuming this location is included in the path variable, we can invoke the compiler using heapcc from the command line interface. Here the standard syntax for compiling heap program is heapcc followed by the program file name hello.cpp-o and an executable file with name hello. We can give any other name for the executable file but we must execute the file with that name. By the way, here we name the source code as hello.cpp. However, the extension name can be flexible. People sometimes use cpp, cc, heap or even cu. Heapcc accepts all the extension names. After compilation, to run the program we simply type dot slash hello, the same way of executing any regular Linux program. Here hello is the name of the executable file we created during compilation. This will show the output of the program. From the screenshot on the right, we see that message is printed. Congratulations, you have created your first heap program. We know it is not yet very useful. We will introduce how to create more useful data processing GPU programs with heap in the next video.